Hello, welcome to Cooking with Johnny. Today we're gonna to be making a nice healthy dish. We are making a whole wheat ravioli. It's gonna be stuffed with ground chicken. We're gonna have rigotta inside, fresh regione parmigiano. So come back, we're gonna put this process together. It's gonna to be easy, the dough is easy, the stuffing is easy. We're gonna cook it up with a nice light tomato and vegetable sauce. I can't wait to eat this. I can't wait till you try it. So come right back and join me and we get started. In the bowl, I have two and a half cups of whole wheat flour and one cup of boiling hot water. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. That's for flavoring because it's whole wheat. All I'm going to do is mix it up. Well, if you can see it. And I'm going to form a dough ball. Once I form the dough ball, I'm going to put it together, I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes, I'm going to roll it out, I'm going to make my stuffing, and I'm going to put these raviolis together. While I have my dough resting, I am going to make my filling. And these are the ingredients you're going to use. You're going to use one cup of regular rigatta. You put that in here in your mixing bowl. To that, you're going to add your fresh basil, about two tablespoons. I already have it chopped up. Right in. Some fresh ground cracked black pepper. A little bit less than a quarter teaspoon of salt, not too much salt. About a cup of the fresh Reggiano Parmigiano cheese, I'm going to grate it right in. Look at that. You have one egg, I already cracked it, it's ready to go, I'm going to pour, pour it right in. Now I'm going to start mixing this Rigotta with the, with the Reggiano, the basil, get it combined. Oh, if you can only smell the basil, it smells so good. Oh, looks absolutely delicious. Now that I've combined that, I have about a half a pound of sauteed ground chicken, just a little black pepper, a little olive oil sauteed in a pan. I'm gonna, I have it cooled off. I'm gonna throw that right in. I get every little nook and cranny. I'm gonna mix that up. Can you say yum? Now, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna roll out the dough, I'm gonna show you how to make the raviolis, we're gonna set them on the side, we're gonna get our water going, I'm gonna make the sauce, I'm gonna have a delicious dinner, all by myself. You're welcome to join me, come right back. Okay, my, my dough ball has formed, it's settled, I'm gonna cut it in half. We made a small batch, because it's only two of us, I don't need a big, big batch. So that was good for two. I'm gonna take my dough, I'm gonna start rolling it out just a little bit by hand. Then I'm gonna use my pin, my rolling pin. Where's my little flour? Here it is. Keep losing everything. Just kind of roll it out a little bit. Like I said, they won't make that many raviolis. We don't, because they're very, they're, raviolis are heavy. It's a heavy pasta. So I'm just gonna make enough for me and Michael. If you want some, make your own batch. Okay, that's kind of rolled out. I'm gonna lift it up so make sure it doesn't stick. Put some flour on the bottom. Because yeah, I don't have a ceramic countertop, so it's more difficult for me, but this will work. I'm gonna use my little pizza cutter to just make help it up a little bit so it doesn't stick. You see it made a little, little hole, just pin it up. Don't worry about it. This will be nice. I'm going to get my stuffing. And with a little teaspoon, like real tiny teaspoon, you just make three little raviolis for now. Like a little, little center right there. Not too much. You don't want to overfill them because they will break. We're going to start with three first. Mm. 
Okay. Put this on the side. I'm going to cover them. And I'm going to cut them. And I'm going to put on my little sheet I have right next to me. And when we return, I'm going to show you how to cut these. Now we're going to actually cut them. I have a ravioli cutter. This one's star shaped. They have round ones. I like the little star shape. Just push it, pull it. Look how adorable that is. I'm going to make some star ones. I'll make some round ones. I'm going to make both. Just a little bit of everything. And the excess dough you're going to use to make more raviolis. This is great for kids. They can help you with it. It's fun and going to be delicious. Okay. And so you get the idea. You're going to re-roll your dough. You're going to use that again. It's, it's reusable. It's flexible. It's easy to work with. Just keep playing with it. When we return, I'm going to finish making these. I'm going to make a couple of round ones. I'm going to finish making the star ones. And we're going to start the sauce when we return. Okay, I'm gonna check the sauce. That's that's perfect. Look how look, look how nice and chunky and delicious that is. It's a light sauce. I turned it off from the heat. I got my water boiling for the ravioli. I'm just gonna salt it. I didn't salt it before. I will salt it now when it boils. Okay, maybe like two or three. There it is. Less than a tablespoon of salt. Not too much. You don't wanna go crazy with salt. Now it's still boiling, I'm taking my raviolis. I got like 25 raviolis at that small batch. That's more than enough for three, four people. They're heavy, you don't want to make all these. I'm gonna make, for me and Michael, maybe about eight or 12, and throw them in. And when they float to the top in about two or three minutes, give or take, they're done. And if one cracks open and the, the stuffing comes out, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. The point is that you're doing it. You got star raviolis, they're beautiful, you make them with your kids, the kids will love them, you'll love them, they're going to taste good with the sauce, and you're going to have a great, great dinner. And the last one, I'm going to save these for another day, I could freeze these, you freeze these, make these another night, so you get a couple of meals out of this, if, if it's just two of you, you get three, four meals out of this, it's just, you can have company, that's perfect. You see, as soon as they start to pop up, Take a couple of minutes, that means that they're done. They're ready to be served. You see how they all popped up? These are ready to come out. It takes about two to three minutes. Don't touch them until they come up. You don't want to start stirring them. I'm going to use a nice spoon to drain the water off of them. Like that. I'm going to put them in a little pot. My stars are all done. Again, if some reason one breaks in the water, don't let it upset you. Sometimes that happens. All you're going to do is just move on. Okay, you're all good to go. I put them in a little bowl, and the reason why I put them in a little bowl first is I'm just going to add a little bit of sauce to it before I actually plate it. Just like coat it up a little bit. You see how, see how light that sauce is? There's so much flavor in it, it's amazing. I'm going to put some Reggiana Parmigiana on top, just a little bit for now. I'm going to put the rest when I actually plate it. I'm going to stir it up. I'm going to plate it. Look how beautiful. Now, they have all kinds of ravioli cutters. I happen to have a star one, so I use that one. Because I use the star one for many different things. But today we made star raviolis. 
I'm gonna plate them. When we come back, I'm gonna have a special guest. I'm gonna have my dinner. Notice the big smile on my face when I say special guest. And you know what? I'm even have a glass of wine. Even though I don't drink, I'm this is good. I need it today. So come back in a minute and we're gonna enjoy this dinner. And we're back. I plated the ravioli, I put the sauce on top, I shredded some Morigiano Parmigiano cheese. If you notice, I have a setting for two. So this is the day you're gonna meet my husband, Michael. You've never met him. Some of you, a lot of you do know him, but the rest I've never seen him before. This is, this is my joy, my pride, my love. He's my heart and soul. He's my little dancer. He's actually, I met him because he, he, he was dancing in the club. That's why I saw him. We've been together going 18 years. And we were one of the first 800 couples that got married a couple of years ago when it was legal in New York State. In New York City, we ran, we did it, it was a Sunday, we were off, we are like, no big deal. So I asked him, I said, after 15 years, will you still marry me? He said he wouldn't have it any other way. He had no choice, I had a gun to his head. But I love him. We're going to taste this, we're going to have a glass of wine, and see how he likes it. He's, a pick, he's really picky. I don't like whole wheat stuff, but we'll see what happens. Take a bite, taste. All right. And he did make my favorite stars. Because mm, he is a star in my eyes. Mm. Let me see what you think first, and I'll tell you what I think. I'll keep eating. Mm. The texture is very good. I love chicken, too. You give me anything made of chicken, I'll eat it. Arigata? I'm not crazy about arigata, but this with the chicken, with everything that's mixed in there, it's great. It is good. The vegetables are good. They're nice and tender. They're not really overcooked. The tomatoes. You can, you can taste just about everything. And the best thing is you made it. Uh, if you have a hard time making it, keep trying it. It gets easier as you go along. Well, I didn't make this. This I made this maybe four or five times before. It's really easy. They have other kind of raviolis. You can make the regular flour. But you know what? If you're watching your health and your weight, of course, and for your weight, this is not good. It's still so select. But it's heavy. But delicious. And it's good for you. So thank you for joining me. I want to thank my husband for coming into the shop to, to have dinner with me. We, we haven't eaten all day. Um, please join me uh, on my Facebook page at cookingwithjohnny.com, my website, cookingwithjohnny.net. Keep sending those pictures, those questions, those videos. Keep watching my videos. They're all over the Internet. Uh, we're going to be making more videos. Thank you. We love you both. We both love you all. Thanks for coming in. My love, Mwah. go shut the camera off. Ha. Thank you. A salud. To you all and to you. Oh, uh, you shut the camera. I'll go keep eating. And one of us has to work. Mm. No, one of us has to work, I said. One more bite's not going to kill me. No, but it'd be less for me. That's why I'm so thin. Hmm.